Hi. As part of this session, we are going to discuss the topic is how to create and install a second generation managed package. Before you are going to start this session, please go through the second generation managed package part one video. Then only start this video. Then you can understand easily. Now, before we are going to start the session, let's have a great code. If I love myself despite my infinite faults, how can I hate anyone at the glimpse of a few faults? As part of this session, we are going to discuss two points. One is how to create and install second generation packages with the simple steps and comparison of second generation package and first generation managed packages. Okay. Let's start everything practically. First thing is what we have to do. We have to check always whether we have enabled dev hub and second generation packages or not in our dev hub org or in the org what we decided as a dev hub org. So in our case, sales push tech book is our dev hub org. I enabled and I enabled second generation packages. The next step is authenticate. See here, authenticate your dev hub by using login command. So you can open a terminal here in VS code and you can do this from command prompt also. If you observe here, login command and alias, you are giving alias as SF TechBook. Now it will ask you to log in. Now here you have to give credentials of your dev hub instance or dev hub org. In our case, our sales post tech book is our dev hub org. Okay, now if you observe here, I already namespace is registered. Okay, if you want to know how to space, how to register namespace, go to please go through the first video. Okay, our namespace is my space test. Anyway, I authorized it successfully here. Successfully authorized and my dev hub alias is SF tech book. Now, is it SF tech book? Yes. Now, what next? So you can uh, you how to authorize um, your destination uh, destination arc also where you want to install this package if you want to install this package from Salesforce CLI I mean SF takes commands itself if you observe here I already authenticated or authorized or demo path package demo arc okay where I want to install this package once I create a package now what next by default Our project JSON file looks like this without namespace. Now, when you want to create a, a second generation managed package, first thing is you have to fill this or you have to give your namespace here. Okay, what is our namespace? My space test. That's the first thing after authorizing your dev hub. Now, what next? You can create a package. Okay, our alias is SF TechBook. So, if you observe here, name, name of the package is sample2gp and path is force app. Anyway, package type is managed and target username is SF TechBook. That is our dev hub org alias. Then I mean, if you have a dev hub org with the second generation packages enabled and dev hub enabled and with the namespace linked, then only you can create this. Okay, now it is created as a package successfully with this ID. If you observe package alias as 
or add it to your JSON file along with the version name and version number. You can change this version according to your. Okay. Now, now we have created a package successfully. Now, what is next? Create version. So, what is our alias? I mean, DevHub org alias SF Textbook. So, package version create command and package name is sample to GP because for that package I want to create a version and installation key that is the password test1234 and wait 10 minutes. That means uh, I am uh, setting the time for generating this version and uh, SF Textbook. That is the alias of your and code coverage. Code coverage uh, helps to uh, see whether you have a 75% of code coverage or not. Okay, it calculates your code coverage while creating the version for your metadata components. So let's see what is going to happen. So it is going to add a package version now to your JSON project JSON file. So it takes few seconds. So it is showing current status is queued. Let's wait. So meanwhile, we can um, go through the differences between first generation and second generation packages. So let's see whether it is, yeah, it is in progress. Let's go through this. So what is the difference between and what is the, I mean, the comparison of second generation packages and first generation packages. The first column is first GP packages, okay? In the first gen, uh, first generation packages, so you need to maintain the package org is the source of truth. That means your metadata component maintained in a packaging org. Even you have a so you have version control system. At last, you have to include that components in the packaging org. Then you can create a first generation managed package. Okay. Coming to second generation managed packages, you don't need to maintain the package org except a namespace org and you can create package, you can create a second generation managed package out of a version control system from version control system. That means you can make your version control system as a source of truth in the case of first uh, second generation managed packages. And in the case of first generation managed packages, the packaging org owns the package. And the metadata in the package resides in the package org. But in the case of second generation managed packages, the dev hub owns the package. Okay. And dev hub means where uh, we enable dev hub and second generation packages basically. But the dev hub doesn't contain the package and metadata. It owns the package. It doesn't contain metadata in that org. But where we have a metadata components in our version control systems. Okay. And in the case of first generation package, a packaging R can own, can own only one managed package. But in the case of second generation packages, managed packages, a dev hub can own one or more packages. So in the first video, you can uh, see that in second generation managed packages with one, with the same namespace, you can have multiple packages also. And the namespace of the managed package is created in the packaging R. But in the case of second generation packages, the namespace of the managed package is created in a namespace arc separately and linked to the dev hub. Okay. And you can see how to do that in the first video. A namespace can be associated with the only one package, but multiple packages can use the same namespace in the case of second generation managed package. And here, global Apex is the only way to share code across the packages. Okay. And in the case of second generation package, multiple packages sharing the same names can share code using the public Apex classes. Okay. If your methods and class <coughs> annotated with at the rate namespace accessible. But if you want to expose your classes 
to the subscribers org which is not having the same namespace or subscribers or generally then you have to use global apex classes now some packaging operations like package create and package uninstall can't be automated in the case of first generation managed packages but in second generation packages you can automate everything all packaging operations can be automated because you are using sfdx commands and package versioning is linear here supports branches because it here our metadata components resides in version controlling system and patch versions can be uh, can only be created in specialized orgs called patchers but in the case of second generation managed packages patch versions are created using salesforce cli salesforce sfdx commands you can say the version control system is the source of truth and there are no patch orgs this is the these are the main differences between second generation package and first generation package now let's go back to our version see here version created successfully okay successfully created the package version okay and package version ide starts with 040 and it generated package url also now you can install uh, with the help of package url or otherwise you can install with the command itself but if you install this package without promoting then it becomes a beta version so whenever you want to release your package you always need to promote the package first then release that package now as you created a package version if you observe here it added one package alias here one uh, see here this is the package version name and package version id okay now i am going to promote this first so how can i promote there is a promote command simply so if you observe here sample 2gp see package version i am taking you can use package id also here so sample 2gp at the rate 1.0.0 this is one and you do you know what is the meaning of this three first thing is major minor second one represents minor and third one represents patch okay anyway here our dev hub name is sf tech book okay now what we are doing we are promoting our package that means we are making our package as a release version now see here are you sure you want to release this package version uh, you can't undo this action yes i can i want to release so successfully promoted the package version okay now i am just copying this i'll show you this uh, after installing our package from command prompt first so now i'm going to install our package how can i install i have a install command okay and if you see target username is a package demo org this is what i just i already authorized this basically so this is the destination org where i want to install this package and if you observe here test one two three four wait and on all okay and if you want let's see our package demo arc if you observe here this is the package demo arc see package test arc and if you go over this installed packages this this is the destination arc i want where i want to install our packages see no packages here now i am going to run this command install command now let's see what is going to happen it is going to install a package into package demo arc if you click on this you can see that username also see package test so let's see in progress status in progress now it is going to install so, see successfully installed the package So let's reload this installed packages. 
now you can see sample 2gp installed okay 1.0 version and one app and one tab objects zero right so you can see the tab also here what is the app name and you can see components here what all the components you got here see here this is how it comes and now if you want to see this app you can see see is it app see test app right and you can see the pages say save account contact opportunity and you can see all apex classes also if you want from apex classes here not from here from setup tickets so if you open apex classes see here all are managed right you open you can't edit anything okay this is how you can install your package now i'm going to uninstall for now i will install the same from user interface also how we install normal packages see the best thing is install this from command prompt it is easy because you can automate it if you use commands for installing you can automate that you can write that commands in automated tools now i am deleting this now so if you observe nothing is there right now as i already have my package url see what i am doing so what i am trying to say here i already showed you how to install a package through sfdx command now i'm going to show you how to install the same package from user interface from the installation url generated while you are executing version version command okay but use this link after promoting only so here it is asking a password that is our installation key what is our installation key test 1 2 3 4 and you can give install for all users if you want and if you see Salesforce textbook is the publisher version name and version number and sample 2gp same both are same both are going to give you same results so this is how you you can work with the second generation package creation and installation okay it is very easy please go through the video once again uh, once you read once you understand try to try to execute all the commands then you can understand everything in that but i suggest please complete the first session that is part 1 second generation managed packages and then try to complete the second part then you can successfully complete second generation managed package concept see installation completed and you can see your well, package now simply okay where did i okay i installed in salesforce textbook directly okay no problem but you should not install like that it is a dev hub org right you have to be careful you have to install in a target org it is okay as it is a chat managed package you can uninstall but make sure that you install in the target org where you want to install this is how you can install a managed package from user interface also from package url you can see our test app also here see so i'll give you all the links all the references um under this under this video description please go through the all the links for more information all the best please subscribe to salesforce techbook